Hello, 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 my dear student. In this week, we will be covering energy in electric circuits. The objectives of this lesson are design, build, and refine a device that works within given restraints to convert one form of energy into another form of energy, to describe the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance as expressed by Ohm's law, and finally to apply Kirchhoff rules to analyze complex circuits. So my question for you that we will be answering by the end of this lesson is, what do you know about circuits? Here, we'll be talking about causes, what causes currents. Potential differences causes current to flow, and that the current flow from, from the positive end of the battery to the negative end, always in that direction. Remember that very important point. This can be thought as a river flowing from a higher elevation to a lower elevation. Note that convention shows the movement of positive charges and not negative charges, even though current is made from negative charges only. What is the work done in this circuit? Now, here we'll be talking about Ohm's law. How do we define Ohm's law? Ohm's law is the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. What is current directly proportional to, and what is current inversely proportional to? The current is directly proportional to the voltage and inversely proportional to the resistance, as you can see by Ohm's law. Then we will talk about the definition of an ohmic material. What does that mean? Which of the object, the following objects are ohmic? So it is a material with a constant resistance and therefore a linear relationship between voltage and current. So which one of these have a, re a linear relationship between voltage and current? As you can see, the resistor. So we have light bulb, we have diode, and we have resistor. The only one that has linear relationship is the resistor, so it is an ohmic material. Then we will discuss the circuits. What are the circuits? They are closed path that allow electric charges or current to flow from one location to another. The simplest circuit contains a voltage source, a conductive wire, and an electric device. Here we have a table of components of electric circuit can be used and represented by symbols. As you can see, all of these are electric circuit elements. We will discuss them in details. Using the circuit and symbols, which direction is the current flowing here? Based on what is given, it is clockwise. Then we will do some measurement for circuits. There are many tools that can be used to measure different aspects of a circle. We will see what is an ammeter, what's a voltmeter, uh, why can uh, an ammeter be connected at a single point, why the voltmeter must be connected at two points. We will discuss that in details here, as you can see. Then we will talk about Joule's law, which is related to power. What is power? Here, I squared times R, different forms of it. And then finally, we'll talk about Kirchhoff's loop rule. And then we will apply it in many analyzing circuits. 
and I hope you will understand this lesson as you have understood all the lessons before. Have a good day, everybody. Have a good week.